So what can they do to just figure out just to take those next few steps? Because a lot of people right. do continue to be miserable because they just don't know what else to do or how to do it. Yeah, I love that question because I, I do a lot of work around that. You don't have to know what it is yet. You just need to know that this ain't it. <laughs> like, this is no longer it. We're going to make a move from there. And so what I have people do is to get really clear and identify what it is about the situation that they don't like. Is it that you don't like your commute to the job? Is it that you don't like your supervisor? Do you not like the work? Do you not like the hours? We can start with what it is that is actually causing you agitation and ask questions around what would make this better? What would it look like to show up to work and to not be irritated by the time you get there? What would it look like to show up to a house where you didn't have to immediately jump in and deal with the kids or the housework, right? So you start with what is bothering you because that's sometimes easier to know what you know. Mm -hmm. And then we start dreaming up alternatives um, through meditation and just through like sitting there and asking yourself, what is it? What do I want? What do I want? If I could answer this question, if I knew what I wanted, if I could answer this question without any restrictions, if somebody wouldn't tell me no, what do I want? And it may not come right away because again, how often do we ask ourselves what we want? Not very often. So we can, we can take as long as it takes for it to come up and know that what you want right now may not be what you want in five years or five months. And that's okay. Let's okay. look at what do I want in this moment? Because take putting the pressure on of deciding what you're going to do for the whole rest of your life is big pressure, too much. You're going to be a different person in a year, right? Maybe you want something else and that's okay.